Hi, welcome to Data Viz Daily. I'm Kevin McGinley, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about how you can do a little manipulation to files, Excel spreadsheets, CSVs that you upload um, so that you can make your data work better for you after you upload it. So I've got a file here. This is a spreadsheet of fantasy football quarterback data. And let me kind of build a quick table here to show you, um, you know, what my problem is. So I'm just going to grab a few fields here pick a visualization of a table. Once this renders, you can see I've got problems with both sort of data masking. All of my numbers are showing up with decimal points. I don't want that, but you can also see here that my year and my week are not really displaying as years and weeks. So what's, what's going on here? So I can go into the staging area. So this is uh, uh, an area that you can access after you've uploaded your file. And instead of showing you the sort of table visualization that I just built, it's going to show you the sort of, you know, raw file itself. And the first thing that you can see here is that we've got number columns for year and week. That's going to be somewhat problematic. Um, and some of our other columns here are um, numbers, but they're showing as decimals. So how can we address this? Well, let's go into um, the actual definition of the column. Um, we'll start with year. I'm going to show this to you in year. This will apply to every other column um, as well. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those decimal points by doing a cast on this um, and converting it to an integer. If I validate that, it'll say my expression's validated. Um, and then if I save, you can see here that the data is going to refresh and that uh, my decimal points are going to go away. Let's go ahead and do that on week as well. I'm going to go ahead and uh, repeat that cast. So we'll cast week as integer. You can use cast to convert to a number of different data types. In this case, I'm, I'm doing to an integer to remove that notion of a decimal point. And you should see the decimal points go away on week as well but they're still not the numbers that we would expect. We're not seeing year numbers and week numbers. So what's the problem here? Well, the problem is in the data definition itself, if I come here to inspect on the data set, you can see that because year and week are numbered data types, it assumed that they were measures. So we wanna go ahead and change these to attributes. You can do this on any of the columns that come in after you upload the data, in case you happen to miss this uh, the first time that when you uploaded it. Um, and by choosing both of these as attributes, and it'll ask me if I definitely wanna do that, what you can see here is that now I'll get regular year numbers and week numbers for my data. And I have it without decimal points, just the way I want it. I could go ahead and do the same thing for all of my uh, measures here that don't need decimal points, um, but for your sake, I'm going to kind of do that behind the scenes on my own, and uh, you know, you can see it the next time around uh, when I use this data set again. Thanks for joining me today. Appreciate it.